Welcome to Understand. In this video, we're going to go over the information browser and how it can give you better insight into your code. Let's start with this example C++ project that I've got open. Just about everything Understand knows about your code is summarized and shown in the information browser, which by default appears on the bottom left of the interface. The information browser is used for all types of entities and will show only the information relevant for that entity's type. You can quickly see sub-entities, uses, calls, metrics, and even references to where that entity is used within your project. The information browser is always just a few clicks away. Just right-click on any entity and select View Information. Or, if you're selecting an entity from the Entity filter, simply left-clicking will populate the information browser, like so. As I mentioned, there will be different information available in the browser based on the type of entity we're looking at. For example, let's pull up this code file, account.cpp. By clicking the icon here, I can quickly pull up a butterfly graph. Now let's look at a function. By clicking the icon here, I can quickly pull up a calls graph. Information that's hierarchical in nature, like call relationships, can be expanded multiple levels. And blue text here indicates a hyperlink that will take you to the appropriate spot in the editor. So for example, if I double click Lua D Growstack, I'll be taken to the definition of that function. The sync checkbox in the information browser is enabled by default, while the file sync checkbox is disabled. Let's go over what these do. When sync is checked, anytime you view the information for a new entity, the information browser will populate with the contents of the new entity. Like so. If unchecked, the contents of the information browser will remain on whatever entity had populated it last. As you can see, it's not changing. In this case, viewing the information on a new entity will instead bring up a new information browser doc. I'll attach that, and now I can see two information browser docs at once. When file sync is checked, the information browser will automatically populate with the file's information when switching between tabs in the editor, like so. By default, this option is unchecked, so when alternating between tabs, the information that's currently in the browser will remain static, as we can see now. Finally, from the information browser, you can add an entity to a new or existing favorites group, after which you can view it quickly in the favorites doc by clicking this icon here. This has been a short look at the information browser. For more details on the information browser or any other tool within Understand, visit support.scitools.com.